Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you the Buttonology 101 of the AV30. So there's three buttons on the AV30. You have the left button, the center button, and the right button. We're gonna start with the left button. So the left button controls the menu, and there are two menus that are pilot settable. The first one is edit field, select fields. The second one is setup, and then install if you engage the, the install menu at, when you power on the unit. So we'll go over edit field, select fields. So the edit field, select fields, you're gonna get a black box at the top. It is then pilot settable from the inside all the way to the outside and on the inner circle. So whatever you wanna change, you press the center button, find what you want to change it to, and um, you can select that. So we're gonna go back to outside air temperature. Um, and that's how you know your outside air temperature probe is working. And then if you wanna get done with, done with that, you click done. Now, if you wanna to go to setup menu, rotate the center knob. There's a whole bunch of different styles of that's display, there's an ethos style, and there's a vintage style. We have a lot of our vintage uh, pilots like this one a lot. It keeps the, the panel looking old and or vintage. We won't call it old. And then going back to legacy is what we had it set on. And then next thing is gonna be the font. There's two types of fonts that you can choose. There's Arial and there's LCD. Next thing is the course deviation enabled. So if we want to have that show up, which is this bar right here, we can turn that on or we can turn that off. It's only available if you have the AVHSI. And you have glide slope enabled or disabled. So right now it don't, we, we don't have a signal coming in, um, so it's not going to show up. Audio, if you have audio hooked up, this is where you're gonna change the, the volume of the audio. AOA alert is gonna be enabled or disabled here. AOA high limit, low limit. G load alert is enabled here, along with um, the limits for positive and negative Gs. The roll alert is gonna be here also. This is where you adjust um, to alert at different degrees of turn. Track stabilization, we keep that enabled, and then the hours that the unit, the AV30, has been running. And that's our setup menu. I'm not going to go over the install menu since that's more advanced. Then we have the, the pages of the unit. So we have one of three down here. And if we click the right button, we go to two of three, three of three, and then the AI. The AI is going to be our transponder control page if you have a transponder connected. If you don't have a transponder connected, then it's going to look like a decluttered attitude indicator. And then, um, so we're gonna go back to this page. I'll go over the transponder page in just a moment. The next thing you need to know about um, is on each of those pages, you're able to also change all these settings to, um, to display information that you want. I like to tell people that each one of them, the first one can be for takeoff, cruise, and uh, landing. So put the information there that you want for that. There will be a way to turn off pages if you don't want to look at anything. You can turn everything off if you want, if it feels too cluttered for you. So now push set. The main thing that you're going to want to know how to do with the push set menu is to press the center button one time, and you'll be able to adjust the, the barrel. If you want to go to standard 2992, just click the left button. If you want to recall, you can um, also recall the, the one that you've set. Um, and then the other thing that you can do is if you just rotate the center knob, that's going to adjust your barrow. So one clicks barrow, two clicks heading bug. You can adjust the heading bug. And if you adjust it, so that you can't see it and you want to know, you want it to be at the line of flight. If you're displaying heading bug, you can press and hold the center button 
and the heading bug will come back to center. So now we got through Barrow, heading bug. Now it's OBS, we can adjust the OBS if we want. Um, that is going to communicate with my other instruments. If you're connected to a AVHSI, if you don't have an AVHSI, that's not gonna change anything and you won't have that option. So now we go past OBS and we see we can select uh, our source selection. We have VLOC right now. I can select GPS. And as you can see, I can get a, um, a vertical glide slope from that. But if I have a VLOC, because I'm not getting VOR, I'm not gonna have that displayed. And also notice that if you do pick that, your vertical, vertical trend information will be gone. After that, we have DG adjust. So if your DG is off a little bit and you want to adjust it back in, that's where you're going to be able to do that. Once it's piled, power, power cycled, it will uh, go back to your AV mag um, information. And then the last thing is going to be your squat code. Because I have it selected here, I'll be able to change it. There isn't a ident button, so you would have to go to the this page to be able to ident if need be. And that's it for the uh, push set menu. If you want to go back to VFR, you just click the right button, goes back to VFR. And now we're going to go to the transponder page. Um, things that are being displayed right now, of course, like I showed you before, you ident here. Pressure altitude is being displayed. That's based on standard pressure, 2992. You have NIC and NAC. Those numbers are for GPS. You need to have a NIC of 7 to 10 and a NAC P of 8 to 10. Very unlikely you're going to get 11. If you happen to see 11, that's fine also. Squat code is up here. Your in number is going to be displayed up here, whatever is configured in the tail. And then the mode is going to be displayed here. Stats, so if you have an issue, if there's various stats that it'll go through. Um, if it says maintenance, it may be that it's not configured properly. There's no position right now because we're not getting GPS because we're inside a hangar. So then if you click the center button, you can also adjust the squat code by turning and pressing. If you want to go back to VFR, then you just click VFR. If you need to change the mode, you click the center button, press and hold the right button. You can see mode is highlighted now and you can change the mode to standby and on and back to altitude. Press and hold again to go back to VFR and click done. If you want to change your flight ID, click squat. So the squat comes up, so the push that menu, press and hold the center button and you're going to get flight ID. So if you have your angel flight going on, you can put your angel flight ID in, or I believe there's some other ones that people might have. This is where you'd put it. If you need to clear it for the next flight, just click clear, done. And that's the Buttonology 101 training.